All right, Bruce, here we are. I was able to swing up here. Um, just wanted to show you the house. There's somebody else here showing it. Um, you're kind of right at the bend here uh, where it comes around and on the other side of that where that car is pulling in right now. That's where it really opens up as far as um, you know the, the, out, the outlet and access to the open water. So you can see that from the aerials. Um, just want to show you kind of some of the other houses on this road. You know, a lot of them are the still two stories because they are in the water. The one down there at the end is actually real nice. That way, the tall building in the background, that's one of the high rises from um, the colony at Pelican Landing. Nice house here with the metal roof. Nice house over here. And then there's one, you can't really see it. I don't feel like walking all the way down there, but on the other side of that big hedge line, uh, there's a nice house there as well. So this main drag has a lot of nice houses. And then the, the, the roads kind of finger that way, right? So there's probably seven or eight of them. They're all named after fish, redfish, pinfish, sailfish, bluefish, whatever the heck they are. Um, and there are some smaller houses on those ones, but this, this main drag back here has some, has some nice, nice homes. Uh, nice fruit trees. You know, this all has been around and established for quite a while. I don't have the MLS sheet in front of me, so I don't remember the exact age of this home. I think it was 73, something like that. Circle Drive. Okay, which is nice. They redid all this. They got that marine decking here for all the railing and all the stairs as well. So all that's been redone. Got some of the pavers along the side. This is, a, this is a, I think that's a papaya. It's a fruit tree right there too. Anyway, so all this has been redone. It's a single car garage here, which I'll show you from the backhand side once I get around. It's an access to the downstairs there, efficiency, and then you're upstairs. It looks like it's all been repainted. The outside of it's in, in good shape. Um, a couple storage boxes, a little lattice board and hiding for some storage. AC's up, which is the way it's supposed to be when you're this close to the water. Another little storage shed here. Some more fruit bearing trees. I don't know what that is, I'm gonna be honest. Big old paper deck out here. Covered area. There's some storage. They have all the shutters and they got them all marked there. So that's kind of, that's a big bonus um, for hurricane protection and your credit for your insurance as well. That's all the irrigation piping there up to the timer box. Seawall. This is seawalled all the way down, it looks like. Which is nice. See some of the little crabbies. You usually get a pretty good idea of, you know, how deep the water is by some of the other boats on the canal. And there aren't a lot here that I can see. You know, that's going back towards, um, you know, where it'll thin out. So that's one right across the street. Got a nice lift and, and boat, the row below. And then that's where it turns right there. And then it opens up on that other side. So you can see the seawall all through here. I'm standing on the dock, nice pine tree, nice palm, nice uh, deck up top. So have to do a little more research and exactly, you know, what, what they're drawing here. You're probably you're not quite at high tide, but it's probably getting up there right now. See some of the other houses across the street are pretty nice too. Good size yard, you could definitely fit a pool back here. You might have to cut, ooh, there's a pineapple actually. Pineapple's back in there. So a real, real old Florida look to it, you know, nice natural growth. You'd probably have to do something with that deck if you did want to do a pool, because I think you'd, you'd be limited on how close to the seawall you can get. I don't remember the setbacks for Lee County on that, um, but I can look into that one as well. This is the garage space. It's kind of a one and a half garage. So there's storage space over here. And then this door leads into that little efficiency unit. Tile floors down here, sliders. Kitchenette. Might be able to add a 220 down here in that little spot if you wanted to add a stove. My vision on it would be something to the effect of possibly, you know, 
maybe framing that off. If you put it this way, if you wanted to um, rent out the downstairs, if you could, right? I mean, you'd frame that off and maybe put a bedroom over there, an enclosed bedroom, maybe put it on this side. Um, anyway, it's there, there, there's possibilities, right? There's possibilities there for framing in like a true bedroom so you could advertise a little better. Nice shower as well. So this is this is all non-conforming, it's not permitted, do not, wouldn't even be allowed to permit it, but you know, again, this stuff is, it's the wild, wild west, man. Nobody really, nobody really monitors any of this, but it's a cool, cool area down here. Like I said, if you wanted to, you could run out the downstairs and the upstairs at the same time. Spiral staircase, and then two bedrooms, two baths up here. On the main floor, I think it was 1209 square feet. Total here. Nice big countertop space there. A little shelf for the shower. You know, a little dated some of this, um, but for the price. Good size kitchen. I redid that, redid all the cabinetry. Laundry room back here. Okay, a little storage, extra storage and water heater behind the door. Big room. That's the main door you walk in. All that decking was redone, that same, you know, marine decking that was on the front. And then the master bedroom this way. Furniture is pretty, pretty dated. Furniture has seen better days. Uh, that's probably access. Usually that's access to water when it's there. Yeah, to the shower. Probably had to redo, they had to redo this. So you gotta put in new, um, oh God, I just did it at my house. They gotta put in new valves and stuff like that. They gotta cut it in the back wall. So that's all new. Same cabinets, same counters that are in the other bath. A little closet area here. That's what it looks before I go out. So the reason, I didn't want to talk about this while I was in there. The reason you know, it wasn't selling before us because he had it only listed as the, the county permitted AC square feet, right? So he had it at 1208 or 1206, whatever it was. He said he just recently and he had it priced above 700 grand. So he just recently reduced the price to 699, put in the total square footage when you add in that efficiency downstairs, which is 18 and change. And he's just putting on, you know, the confidential remarks, hey, you know, 600 square feet of this is non-conforming. So, you know, you're not really supposed to do it that way, but you get a ton more action, right? You go, go below that 700 price point and um, add an extra square footage and all of a sudden it looks like an amazing deal, which which it is. I'm not, I really, you know, for golf access, this is, this is, this is a good, really good value. Um, what else can I tell you? The uh, roof is a little bit older, I think. I think it was 05, 06, something like that. So, you know, I think it's shingle roof. Let me get back so I can see it. There's really cool plants, really good trees. This is a uh, cabbage, cabbage palm here. Yeah, shingle. So it's, you know, 15 years. Those things should last 25 years. So, you know, you can get it inspected, but all in all, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. I didn't try any of the windows. The windows I always worry about. Those are probably gonna be a little bit older, but again, you know, for this price point, you're definitely not gonna get, get everything done. That's for sure. So, um, it's a cool spot. It really is cute little fishing village that not many people know about it's real 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 quiet back here if you pull the aerials and you see kind of how far you got to come back off of coconut road um you know coconut road heads down towards that hyatt down there and then this turns off to the left and it shoots all the way down here it's it's super cute that's it